Hi everyone, my name is Jillian. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I connect with Archangel Gabriel. So Archangel Gabriel is quite a well-known Archangel along with Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, and Archangel Uriel. Gabriel is well known for helping mothers during their whole fertility conception and into motherhood journey. Uh, personally, I've really worked with her to help me with my communication as well as aligning with my purpose. So I'm gonna share with you a few ways that I do that today. The first way is angel cards. If you watch and watch any of my other videos, you know I work quite a bit with angel cards, oracle, and tarot. And so the first time I really worked with Gabriel was uh, when I started working with Kyle Gray's deck, Angel Prayers. And this is the image of Archangel Gabriel in this particular deck, and it says, speak your truth. So I've always associated Archangel Gabriel with communication, and I've always asked for her help to speak my truth in a courageous, but also loving way. So her energy in my experience uh, is very balanced between masculine and feminine. She has that like fierce mother energy where, you know, she's very nurturing, compassionate and understanding, but also protective and not afraid to stand up for herself and say what needs to be said, but she does so in a loving way. So, sorry, I apologize. My, my puppy in the background is uh, being a bit noisy. So this, uh, on this prayer on this card, it says, thank you, Gabriel, for helping me to speak with integrity. So if you're, you know, going to be making a big speech in front of a bunch of people, or you're going, you, you're using your voice for something and you're feeling like blocked or you're feeling like nervous, Archangel Gabriel is an incredible energy to call on to help you in those situations where you need to speak. Um, also, if you're having trouble communicating with a family member or a loved one and, you know, there's a challenge getting out what really needs to be said in your heart, she's a wonderful angel to call on to help you with speaking your truth in any situation. And so along with that, I also like to work with the, um, the crystal kyanite or blue calcite, anything blue, because that's associated with the throat chakra and it can help us open up communication. So Archangel, one prayer that I really like to use when I'm working with Archangel Gabriel is, thank you, Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, for helping me to speak my truth. Just simple like that. And you could even sit in meditation after, you know, reciting that prayer or incantation, and then just seeing what, um, what messages come to you. I, I really encourage you to have your own experience with Gabriel's energy because everybody will experience this angel a little bit differently. But yes, absolutely, she can help us speak our truth. And it's interesting because in this depiction, she's, um, you know, uh, Kyle Gray actually says that she reminds him of the singer Adele. And so that's what the depiction of her is in this particular, um, in this particular Oracle card. But she, you know, some people, if you look at sort of older um, paintings or photographs of Gabriel and more, you know, you know, hundreds of years ago, I believe that all angels are androgynous, but Gabriel in particular, um, really it's hard to tell um, what their gender is. So in, in this card, she, Gabriel is representative of the singer Adele. A very um, sort of like motherly, but like fierce energy. So speaking our truth, she can really help us speak our truth with courage and love. Um, there's another, Another way that I really find that Gabriel has helped me on my own spiritual path is helping me to align with purpose. And um, I say a simple prayer like, thank you, Archangel Gabriel, for helping me to align with my purpose. Thank you for helping me to serve in a way that serves my joy, my purpose, and my freedom. And so it is. I really love that prayer. And I've also asked for her help in terms of helping me to uh, connect with my people. When I felt like, you know, I was on this new path in my life and I felt like I was, you know, a lot of rela my relationships were shifting. I, I often recited that prayer to her. Thank you, Archangel Gabriel, for helping me to connect with my people. And I trusted in that. And sh I really feel like there was a lot of shift in my life in terms of relationships that came in that were supportive. So that's another really wonderful way you can work with her. 
um, and, and in terms of finding your, your purpose as well. So there's, um, I have this prayer card here that I ordered on Etsy. So this is really nice. If you want to connect with Gabriel, I also recommend, you know, it's really nice to have like a little altar set up or some kind of sacred space where you can go and if you have a visual aid, like a prayer card or an oracle card or something that reminds you of, of that type of energy that I'm talking about speaking your truth, maybe it was your your grandmother who ha you know embodied that energy or maybe, you know, whatever it is that inspires you, crystals, cards, to create a sacred space around connecting with Archangel Gabriel. So actually this one, um, this prayer on the back of this prayer card that I have is specifically to do with aligning with purpose. So it says, Dear Archangel Gabriel, I pray that you surround me with your pure white light of purification and guide me to gain clarity of my divine purpose in life. Please help illuminate my way and raise my frequency so that I can easily listen, connect, and express the God source of my soul's purpose. And I'll just put that up there for you if you want to pause the video for a moment because that's a really beautiful prayer to call in her energy to help you connect with purpose. Okay. So um, I'm just going to read a little bit, you guys. If you've watched any of my videos, you know this is like one of my go-to books for connecting with angelic energy, Angel Prayers by Kyle Gray. And there's a part on Archangel Gabriel in here, of course. And Kyle says that Gabriel is the ultimate nurturing angel. He said that she, he says she's the angel of mothers. So that's where that whole motherly energy comes in. This idea of being, you know, really compassionate and nurturing, but also at the same time, like, you know, protective of her children, protective of her energy, protective. So she can help us bring in that. I'm going to speak my truth. I'm going to have clear and healthy boundaries, but I'm also going to be compassionate and understanding toward myself and others. I feel like she's this working with Archangel Gabriel has helped me be really like learn to be more compassionate and loving toward myself. And I feel like she can really, that is what she embodies in my experience. Okay. Yeah. So her name literally means strength of God. So I just want to say as well that I believe that all angels are androgynous, but I keep on saying she because that's how I've experienced Archangel Gabriel's energy. But I encourage you to have your own experience with, you know, whether she comes in as divine feminine, divine masculine, whatever, you know, allow yourself to be open to whatever comes through for you. So it says Gabriel's name means strength of God. And she is said to be the archangel who visited Mary, queen of the angels, to give her the news that Jesus was on his way. So, um, you know, I'm sure you've heard this story. She was the messenger angel, um, but that's how that's how the mother connection came in because she appeared to Mary and, you know, told Mary that she was going to be with child, etc. And then from there, um, I, I read a really amazing book actually on Archangel Gabriel by Doreen Virtue. I'm not sure if it's still available, but it's just called like Archangel Gabriel by Doreen Virtue. Dore, Doreen Virtue, you still might be able to get it online. And it's all about how to connect. It's all about stories about how women have called on Archangel Gabriel to help them through the process of fertility, conception, you know, and into motherhood. So if you're on that path, Archangel Gabriel would be a wonderful energy for you to connect with. Um, yeah, communication, abundance, soul purpose. Yeah. Yeah, conception. Mm-hmm. And then in this book, there's also some other other prayers um, for you to connect with Archangel Gabriel. But um, mainly, oh, one more thing I wanted to mention was the uh, working with Rose Quartz. I mean, I, I work with Rose Quartz for a lot of reasons, but bringing in again that loving, motherly, compassionate, nurturing energy into your life, especially if you're going through something really, you know, difficult, it can be a very loving and supportive energy to connect with. So I think that's all I have to say today uh, about connecting with Archangel Gabriel. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, working with angel cards is a beautiful way, prayer cards, setting up a sacred space. And in my experience, Archangel Gabriel has really helped me to speak my truth, has really helped me to connect with purpose. And, you know, I know a lot of people who have worked with her energy along their journey of fertility into conception and into motherhood. So three great reasons to work with this beautiful angel. Please let me know. Do you work with Archangel Gabriel? 
Let me know in the comment section down below what your experience has been, if there's any crystals that help you connect with her. I would love to hear about it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos like this and like this video if you found it helpful. And I will see you in the next one very soon. Much love.